what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl jay simmons and welcome to another house tour and today's video is a bit different because i am going to be doing a bit of a storyline for you guys so stay tuned for that and without further ado let us get into the tour so the first thing i want to show you guys is my front yard you guys know i love plants and animals so I got to incorporate my two favorite things in one build and that was super fun for me to do and so we have like the front part of the build here this is the front um porch so we have plants we have some rabbits in this section which I thoroughly enjoyed putting we have a lot a lot of plants guys as you guys can see we have a lot of plants <laughs> everywhere you turn we have plants and crops so this gardener is part of the story okay in case you guys did not know okay he is uh, um the gardener for this his name is jake and um yeah i don't know why jake is barebacked like doesn't he know how to put on a shirt <laughs> but um yeah we have jake the gardener so we will come back to Jake, but yeah, let's leave him to tend to the plants in the meantime while I finish the tour for you guys. So we have this section, which actually leads into the living area, which I will show you guys in a little bit. Um, this area here, we have some crops and plants, and um, this is actually one of the chicken coops that we got in the ranch update. So I did go ahead to add it into the video, which... Um, I'm not that big of a fan of but I do like it. It's still really nice And I like the fact that it comes with the chickens separated. So that was pretty cool So this is that section. I did go ahead to add in some turkeys you guys I stole from another house. I can't remember when but I did add in my turkeys um, And again, I kind of wanted to have like crops and, and um, fruits and stuff incorporated because again apart from us having to eat we also want to feed the animals as well so that was pretty cool and this is the original chicken coop guys this is the one that came i can't remember in which update but one of the winter updates we got we got one of these and i absolutely love it and i of course had to incorporate it in this build so we have that then again more of the gardening plants let's just call these grapes i think it's grapes we have like the gardening tools over there um not necessarily detail but this is like a minor detail that i added so this actually just kind of leads on to this little section here um yeah <laughs> just a cute detail to the house all right so we move on to this little section which we have um i want to see that's like manual for your plants and stuff we have a beehive and in this section this is actually like where the bedroom area is um so we do have like a little mini garden out here and again because she loves to garden you find that she's always around plants and she has her tools for example here to do so and then we have like this lemon tree and we have a lot of plants guys clearly all right so let me go inside and show you guys the tour of the inside so the first thing we are met with is the the entryway and we have um a couple things going on we have uh, this is a maternity chair but you can use it in a general sense if you so desire i think it fit really well into the theme so i just added it um we have a computer because you know every house needs to have a computer especially for the things that we have to do with our sims um then if you make your way into this section here you have like a bar section where you have a lot of drinks and all that stuff wood carvings because we did get some knives with this update so i found it to be a cool idea for like to have that there so it, it could give off the idea that hey she was carving and she carved those little boots so we have that this section i like to call it a tea section because there's a microwave and then you have um the tea kettle and assortment of teas so we have that here is Jay and she is reading a book, okay, trying her best to ignore the gardener that's in her front yard right now, you know, because he is not exactly ugly, okay? He's a bit on the attractive side, so 
she is trying to keep it professional and you know read a book and ignore the gardener that is outside <sighs> but yeah we'll that that we'll, we'll see how that goes as the video progresses but anyway so this is the kitchen area of course ranch rustic farmhouse theme so you guys know how it goes lots of browns woods of course plants because i cannot even build a house without putting plants so we must have plants everywhere i love the fact that the kitchen door here leads back out to the garden area i find it to be super cool and convenient at the same time and you can actually see the chicken in the video that's so cool to the door i mean all right so um let's make our way into the living area so this is a pretty cute setup i would say I love wooden um, themed houses. So this is again, really fun for me to put together. So lots of browns. And I did go ahead to try to use some of the items we got in the updates. So the chairs and all of that good stuff. And yeah, we have that. Where did I not show you guys? Okay, so we need to go into the bedroom. To get to the bedroom, we go through the entryway. So we come back here. This is the bedroom, guys. Love, love, love the theme of this. This is actually one of the beds we got with the update. So take it in. It's super gorgeous. Love it. And over here, we have more plants <laughs> and more wood. I just love incorporating wood into my bills, guys. So, 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 so pretty. Uh, this is the TV as well that we got with the update. Beautiful portrait over here and this is the entryway to the ensuite bathroom um so we do have everything we need the shower we have the mirror and we have a wardrobe toilet in the corner there and yeah so of course it is a small build and i did want a lot of the build to be um the garden so i really tried my best to keep it the footprint of the house small so that I can incorporate all of these wonderful things in my yard. So guys, how about we get back to the story of the gardener? So getting back to story time, Jay appears to be reviewing some papers. I think though that she has an ulterior motive because she's just standing by the window and uh, she could sit down. I mean, there's so many chairs, right? However, if we look past this window, what do we see? We see Jake. Okay, Jake is right there and she can see him from this window. So that is probably the reason why she's standing there. But anyways, that's beside the point. <laughs> I think Jay got tired of looking at him through the window and now she has a better view of him. Let's um, let, let's get her to make her way across by Jake. Clearly she wants to, to talk to him. So, she has made her way over, and I mean, she's talking to Jake, and again, Jake does not have a shirt on, guys, so this is not something that I would ever advise. If you have a gardener, do not speak to him if he has on no shirt, especially if he looks like this. Bad idea, guys. Bad idea. <laughs> so, the story behind Jay, um, she's actually divorced. Her husband was unfaithful to her, and so now she's single. This gardener, backstory, um, he has actually been with them since the duration of their marriage. Um, because, you know, guys, they have a huge farm. They have a lot of plants. And so, whereas Jay loves gardening and all that good stuff, she does need some help. So, he would have been there for the duration. So, you can say that she knows him for some time now. They were married for maybe like two years, two or three years, somewhere around there. So, um... That is how long he has been with her. However, clearly he has had a crush on her from ever since. But of course, um, he is one to respect um, the marriage arrangements. And so he never, you know, made any kind of move on her or anything like that. But given the fact that she and her husband no longer live together, uh, I think he's going to take advantage now. So, yeah. And clearly, he's quite the entertainer, <laughs> seeing that he is doing all sorts of things to get her attention. Um, so he did ask her for a drink of water. So I think that is why they are heading inside. Not too sure what is happening with this conversation, but that's the reason why they are heading inside right now. And yeah, clearly, um, he's very, very comfortable. Maybe he has done this before. 
um, because he just helps himself, I guess. And uh, she does not seem to have an issue with it. So he's finished with his water and um, apparently he wants to know if he can take a shower because, you know, he was waking all morning and he just wants to freshen up. Yeah, why does he want to freshen up here? That's a good question. But um, she actually gives him permission to do so. Guys, note that the bathroom is in her bedroom, okay? This is where he is showering so pretty private i would say and i mean despite this is her bedroom she's allowed to do whatever she wants i don't think she should wait for him because why would you do that anyways so this is highly inappropriate guys again do not invite your gardeners into your bedroom that is not a good idea so he's finished and he's there being all formal with her <laughs> He's kissing her hand, guys. What a romantic guy. What is he doing? What are they talking about? What is she doing? Is he massaging her? Okay. Uh, what is happening, you guys? So clearly, it's confirmed that they are not just friends. Clearly. So my guess, I think that they are definitely leading towards something more on a serious note because clearly these are not things that your gardener helps you with, guys. Okay, you don't do these things with your gardeners. This is this is not normal. This is this is not okay. This is not professional on any level. Just let you guys know, and especially if your gardener looks like this and he does not have on a shirt, no, guys, don't do this with your gardeners. So. I think that I'm going to continue the story because I think it's probably a spicy story as well as I think I have some cool ideas for the story as well. So if you guys want me to continue the story in the comments, let me know. Let me know. And of course, you guys know I do include my screenshots and my blueprints for my houses. So that will be included in the video as well. But yeah. Okay, so that was a awkward kiss apparently. And he goes back to massaging her. Mm -hmm. So yes, guys. So I will end the video off here. We will leave them to do whatever they're doing here. And um, guys, this is just a massage, okay? Nothing is going to happen, okay? Nothing is going to happen. <laughs> and also, I mean, Jake seems like a nice guy. But, you know, there's always a twist with these stories. So he seems like the nice guy. But is he really... Does he have a dark, mysterious past that we need to know? If he does, stay tuned for the next episode of this video. I think for sure I'm going to continue the story because I think it seems pretty interesting, especially the fact that Jake is really loving Jay, okay? He loves her and all that she has to offer, clearly, okay? So, <laughs> with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye!